Okay. Oh, there we are. Wonderful. Welcome. Welcome. So this session is about the Certified OpenStack Administrator exam. So is everyone here to learn about the COA? Yes, head nods? Oh, awesome. Fabulous. Well, my name is Ann Bertuccio. I manage the COA program at the OpenStack Foundation. Um, I know we're a little bit behind schedule, so I'll probably hurry through a lot of my slides so I can make sure we get all of your questions answered. Um, my big goal of this session is to give you an intro about what the COA is about, some updates that you need to know. Since the program is about a year old, we've made some updates recently. Um, but then really make sure we answer all your questions about where do I find the COA, what do I need to know, anything like that that's in the audience. So we can buzz through those ones. How do I prepare? These are some of the common questions we get most of the foundation. What's on it? What do I need to know? Am I really the right person to be taking it? So we're going to answer all of those things. Um, so like I said, the COA was launched at the Austin Summit last year. So this, it's, it's a year old. Happy first birthday to the Certified OpenStack Administrator exam. Um, we made it because at the time there was not a vendor neutral exam out on the market. There are vendors who have their own exam, but we kept hearing from community members and employers and hires that we would like um, a vendor agnostic standard was what was looking for and that is part of our job as the governance body. So we thought, gosh, we can, we can make that happen. We can do that. So this uh, exam is also skills based. So there's no multiple choice questions. You won't be sitting there matching project mascots to projects. Uh, that's not really the point of it. The point is, do you actually know how to use OpenStack? Um, we're not going to grill you on, do you know what the compute project is called, for example, and you check A, B, C, D. It's really more, can you actually spin it up and get it going and do what you need to do in a day-to-day -day environment? So why might you take it, including even if you have an existing exam from another vendor? Um, like I said, the biggest thing is that it is vendor neutral and it is skills based. So the certification transfers between um, OpenStack platforms, it transfers between distros, and for many employers, the skills based thing is really the big thing they're looking for. They're looking for, um, you know, kind of a knowledge standard to know that you can arrive on the job and deliver what they're looking for. It was created by the community with a group of developers, operators, admins from a variety of companies. We had pretty good participation across the board. So a couple things before we get to what's on the exam, because I think that's what most people want to know. So some quick announcements. Um, right now, the COA is on Liberty, and very shortly, hopefully by mid-June, it will be on Newton. For most people, that's really um, not a big deal because the COA tests the core components of OpenStack. So some of those nuances between versions, you're really not seeing. Most people don't notice. Uh, but a lot of what is coming in mid-June are some uh, user improvements. So we're going to see a little bit quicker time in the test. Uh, we're going to have some just better UI experience overalls coming in mid-June. So I would encourage you, if you can wait about four to six weeks, I, um, I, I'm really excited to see this release come out. I think you're really going to like it. And we also have two options now. You can take it on SUSE or Ubuntu. So when it was, when it was released, it was just on Ubuntu, and now you have two choices. So obviously, this is quite a bit. Um, and is there a second one? No, it's just the one. So it's all jammed on there. Uh, but this is all also available at openstack.org slash COA slash requirements. So I'd encourage you to go there uh, rather than stressing about writing down every one of these. But like I said, you can look across and get the gist that these are really the core pieces of OpenStack. Um, like I said, we're not testing on those nuances between between releases, we're really trying to hit the big points from a high level of can you use OpenStack? And how I would encourage a lot of people to practice um, is to go to that openstack.org slash COA slash requirements, just pull it up, it's all right there. And if you can check off, go through every one of those items and say, I know how to do that, I can do that. You can even spin up DevStack and make sure you know what to do, um, then you're going to be just fine. We usually recommend that people have about six months of professional experience on OpenStack before taking the test, but people also feel confident if they've had a training. Um, you know, there's even some classes this week here at the summit. People feel like if I've had a training, I can go through and take the COA just fine as well. So like I said, how to prepare. Um, that's my recommendation to folks if you're not going to do a training or if you want to find out maybe I need a training, zip through those requirements. Or you can head to the marketplace, um, including the marketplace here at the summit. And anyone who has a COA badge offers a training class that's tailored to taking the COA exam. 
So those are people who are going to help you go through those requirement areas, talk about what they mean, uh, and they know what's on the exam, so they're the folks that can make sure that you're prepared to sit the COA and have success. So the COA is a virtual exam, uh, which means you can take it anywhere, anytime, comfort of your own home. You just need a webcam, a Microsoft, uh, not a Microsoft, a microphone, um, and a reliable internet connection. You do need Chrome or Chromium. So to register, um, it's just openstack.org slash COA, and you will see a purchase exam button. And at that point, you can pick, do I want SUSE, do I want Ubuntu? Uh, if you are a student, uh, you can get a price discount. You just need to show a valid student ID that has an expiration date on it, so you need to be a current active student. Um, otherwise, for everyone else, openstack.org slash COA. And one of the tricky things I try to remind people, um, so once you purchase your exam, you have 12 months to schedule it. So you can purchase your exam today. It kind of gives you some accountability. So, you, know, you can make a goal sometime between now and next year. I have to take this exam. So some people like that feature. Uh, holds them accountable for it. So questions. Are there any questions? And I also have sitting in the corner here with me is Chris Hodge, if I can call you out. <laughs> Uh, he was one of the question writers on the exam, so some questions he might be able to help us answer too. Yeah. Yes. Well, and actually, Chris, can I steal you? I think we're, we're on YouTube, so if you want to come up here, yeah. Uh, in general, no, it doesn't matter. Um, so the, most of the exam itself was written in the mindset that uh, the OpenStack client would be used. There are a few instances where um, you can't necessarily accomplish something with one of the clients, and we, but we try to make sure that we spell that out so that if you have to go and, say, use the Neutron client for something, it'll actually say, use the Neutron client. So. Um, but yeah, yeah. If you're if you're comfortable with the OpenStack client, then um, you you're even on the Liberty exam, you're going to be in a good place, and you're going to be in an even better place when the update happens. Yeah, yeah, and those and all of those are are still available. Um, and and one of the things about the exam environment too is um, it we we provide a bunch of the tooling there, but if you are an expert user and you want to install your own packages, the entire operating system is there and available for you to, to, to work against. So the, the functional exam is taking place like on a virtual machine with all the demons, or is it actual, is it a dev stack instance, or is it a, an Ubuntu VM where it's, I'm installing it? It's, it's an OpenStack Ansible instance. Um, so all of the services are running inside of containers. I, um, there's, there's only one question where we actually ask you to interact with the containers, and again, we give you the direct command on how to um, to, to, to get to that container, um, you know, to, to do the task that's been requested. And, um, but, but you, but, but the exam is being served from inside of Ubuntu, um, with OpenStack installed on OpenStack Ansible. We also, within the, within the dashboard on the, in the exam environment, uh, there's, there's also a Horizon instance, and so if you're comfortable doing some things, uh, with the Horizon client, that's made available to you also. Yes, so your exam, so your certification does, does last three years, at which point you will need to reset the exam. Good question. Are machines provided if you take it here at the summit? Or? No, so if you take it, actually, unfortunately, registration for here at the summit is closed. Um, but in future summits or future on site exams, you do need to bring your own machine. Yes. Do you want to take this one? Yeah, yeah. So, so the exam is skills based, and um, when 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 you are when you are done with the exam, that environment it, it basically it's basically suspended, um, and then it's handed off to a grading system that will go through and actually run OpenStack commands to check the state of the environment, 
And so, and, so, and, so, and so if you're working on a question that says, you know, start a server with this name and this much memory and these properties, it will then go and it'll query the OpenStack instance to see, okay, the, the, the server to see that, you know, the, the instance exists and it has the properties that it asked for. And, and, and that's, uh, um, so, um, you know, that's, that's how the exam is graded. And so, and, and that's, why, that's why you can use multiple clients. We're not checking like, what commands did you issue? We're checking to see is the final state of the system where we expect it to be. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And, and and this is a practical exam. And so, um, you, you know, if you were to do something that horribly wedged your environment, like you know, you shut down a service and everything broke, and you couldn't proceed through the exam anymore, that's actually you know a demonstration of the skills that you have broken your environment. And um, so, yeah. So it's a, it's a it's an actual um, you, you know it is a miniature production system that you're working in. Well, thank you so much. We'll also hang around if you have other questions. Otherwise, openstack.org slash COA. And thank you so much for coming to learn about the exam. Yeah, and, if you're, and actually, and if, you're, if you're curious about some of, the, some of the tools that you would use in the exam, I'm going to be giving a really quick lightning session that's just going to kind of run through, like, how to use the command line client, how to use Horizon. So, you know, just a little 20-minute talk about that if anyone's interested. Um, next. 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 <laughs>